Good afternoon. It's Friday, sometime just after five o'clock, and it's uh, that time of week when we do the five o'clock beer review, um, or some people call it beer and gear. Uh, before we go any further today, though, as you know, we're here in Christchurch, and I would like just to make a, you know, a quick comment about what happened in Christchurch this, this week. You know, everybody knows about the fires we had. I want to put a massive shout out to all the emergency services this week. Uh, they'll work tirelessly night and day to bring these fires to hopefully an end very soon. So guys, cheers for all your hard work from me, Dad, and all the Fur Fast Long Cloud crew. You really appreciate it. Here's to some rain. Yeah, here's to yeah, some yeah. rain as well. Anyhow, so Friday, beer and gear. So the beer. Today we've got a good George, which I believe is based in Hamilton, APA. And what do you reckon, bro? Yeah, this is a good one. We'll have this one again sometime soon. It's American. Mm. Mm. Just like Dan. Just a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really nice beer. Good well, George. Give us some tasting notes. Oh, it's got proper tasting notes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a little bit nutty on the tongue. What are you getting, bro? We'll go citrusy. It says summer. Oh, I'd, I'd say it's a wee bit darker than summer, actually, if we're really going to get down to it. Mm. No, definitely a wee bit darker. It's almost, because it's an IPA, it's not an I, you know, obviously it's not an IPA, yeah. it's a little bit lighter little than bit. an IPA. Yeah. Anyhow, like enough of us <laughs> waddling on about beer, let's talk about some gear. Right, tonight what we're going to do, we're going to talk about Arn Packs. Now, Arn, Arn it's a Kiwi brand. Uh, the chap's based here in Christchurch and he's been doing these packs for like probably the best part of 30 years now. So we're going to give you a brief overrun <laughs> of what the different packs do. Oh, Badger would like to say hello. Badger's in most of the shots, as you can tell. Hey, puppy. Oh, good old dog. So we're going to talk briefly about the range and Dan's going to talk about how to fit these packs in a brief way. <laughs> right, okay, the packs are so, so the range. So you've got, it's split into two, it's, you can split into two, but it's actually split into three in some ways, actually. So we've got, we've got feather lights and we've got strong lights. So that's talking about the fabric itself. So this is the feather light freedom. Uh, so as it nays implies, it's a lighter weight fabric than say something like the Peak Aspiration here, which is made from the strong light fabric, which is a slightly tougher fabric. So feather lights, strong lights. And in that also, you've got the Marathon series. So I'm going to start at the top here with the Marathons. So you've got Marathon Magic 22, and Marathon Magic 33, and you've got the Mountain Magic, which is about 45. These packs were, as you can imagine, originally designed for big mountain marathons, which they're still used on a daily basis, but they also make really nice fast and light hiking bags, uh, especially the 33 there and the 45. I mean, that would do most people on an overnight trip, especially if you're looking for, you know, getting that weight down in a nice, lighter fabric. 33 again, depending on, you know, how much you can pack your gear down, the 33 will take most stuff as well for an overnighter. Uh, the 22, still a really good mountain running pack. So that's a, the brief on the marathons there. Then you go on to the, what we call the tramping packs and the day walking packs. So you've got the Featherlight Freedom, Probably the best tramping pack we do, uh, what, Arne, what Arne does to be quite honest. Nice lightweight fabric, comes in a couple of different sizes. Uh, you've got the small and the large, that relates to the back length. And you're looking at about 68 litres. This one comes with the front pockets as well. Dan will touch on that in a moment, what the, what the pockets are all about. Uh, I want to quickly whiz across here actually as well, to the natural balance. That's in the same Featherlight fabric, it might be a bit bad here Ooh, with the light and everything. Lighting. We'll probably move away from that. That's the biggie of it. All right. Liquid Agility. Um, bit of a standalone pack, actually, this. Um, it's made from a strong light fabric. It's, it was designed for ski touring. So it's a little bit different as uh, the, the back. You can get into it from the rear. You put your skis down the side. Real handy pack. What also of recent, actually, we find a lot of photographers have been buying into this as well. Because it's quite a good photography pack. Moving on, then, we've got the Natural Exhilaration. This is a, it's the smallest pack in the range, uh, a classic day pack. Um, if you pair that with, say, a pair of some compact pockets, it's a really good size. You're looking at about 40 litres, all told. Very popular for the Camino and trails like that at the moment. Then, Peak Aspiration. This is the GoDaddy pack for most people. Um, 42 litres and 50 litres without pockets. Slap some pockets on there, you're into the 60 litre range. 
this is a real, I got this pack, really good, really, really useful. A uh, couple of days, easy, you'll get all your kit in that. Then we've got Guiding Light. Um, Guiding Light, it's a slightly bigger cat pack, it's, it's more streamlined in its shape, it's aimed at climbing. Uh, you've got uh, ski slots on the side, and, so, and where you can put your axes on the side as well. That's made in a strong light fabric. Then we've got the big daddy of them all here, Load Limo. Uh, usually Ooh, purchased yeah. by people on big tramps or going hunting or something like that. I mean, you're looking with pockets, so you're looking at 90 litres, so you, you know, you're getting a fair bit of kit in there if you need to. Uh, in the corner here, we've got the Effortless Ribbon. Um, bit of a different pack, this, because this is the only pack in the range of a base compartment as well, actually. So you could say it's a bit more of a traditional um, bag in lots of ways. Uh, but it's made of a strong light fabric, about 70 litres. There's Badger talking to somebody in the background. And that is the briefest of overruns over the, over the packs. Then if you look at the pockets, uh, the, one, the most popular pockets are coming free size. We've got compacts, we've got sports, and we've got expeditions. Um, and we've got photo pockets as well on the side. We've got Vaughn uh, saying good day from Japan. Good day, Vaughn. How are you doing, mate? Um, so that's a very brief overrun. And now we're going to talk about fittings and differences and over to Dan. All right. Right, so I've got a, a peak aspiration here and I'll just talk about you know, how to fit it. Um, one of the things that's great about these packs is you can fit one to everyone. It's not a one size fits all. Um, a, a, a lot of the models come in two size back lengths, so they've got a short back or a long back. Um, and then they are really adjustable. So. The other thing is that also the waist belt, there's three different sizes, so you've got a small, medium, and a large, and then that is also adjustable as well. So I'll just, I'll just quickly show you a little bit about that. Um, for the shoulder... Uh, one of the guys on the line here, Dan, I want to know if you're enjoying your brew. It's pretty good. Oh, good. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> uh, so the, the back adjustment is really, really simple and clever. You've got a strap that runs up through the back of the pack to the middle and one comes out at the top. So all you have to do is to move the whole shoulder cyst down, is pull pull on that strap and it, and it comes down. Or just give this one a touch from the top and then that unlocks the system. So it's really quite clever. Once you pull it down, then it's locked in place and away you go. So that's a really nice, nice feature. And I'll, I'll just quickly show you a little bit about the belt. The belt's adjustable uh, each, each size is adjustable up to 10 centimeters. You simply um, undo a little bit of Velcro here, and then you've got access to the hip belt underneath. And if you look in there, Badger, you just undo that Velcro. You can take that, that part of the belt off and then adjust it outwards, or you can angle it as well. All right, so you can get, the, get a nice fit. In, put that down, and attach it back into place. And again, this is sized in three sizes, small, medium, and large. Cool thing about the pack, uh, besides adjusting, is just the, the ability for the hip belt to move independently, and with the shoulders as well, so it, once you've got it on, the pack can rotate on you. Right, so we'll just also show you We'll just choose um, a pair of pockets for this one. We'll go with some sport regulars. And it's pretty easy to fit these as well. Uh, on the bottom of the pit belt here, you just slot this part of the pack in, like that. Snap that into place. And then there's a toggle that attaches the, oops, I did the wrong side here. Did you now? Rookie. Rookie. <laughs> And toggle at the top of the pack pocket there that slides into that ring there. And away you go. Do you need a volunteer to put this on, Dan? I can do it. I can put it on. So once you've had them attached, you can leave them on all the time, basically, on and off with the pack. Come. Do your hip belt. 
get it where you want it in terms of height. And then what's nice about this is um, the hip belt is not just one strap. You've got a strap at the top and the bottom so they can move independently. Just put your thumbs in there, pull it forward. And then if you want to, you can adjust it more at the top or at the bottom, which is pretty cool. And then as for the pockets, instead of just doing your sternum strap like normal, you attach to the pockets themselves, like here, and you crisscross, and then you just pull them in tight. Oh, cool. Comfort. Now, um, like I said, this shoulder system, all you have to do is pull that strap down if you want to tighten it up a bit, or loosen it off, which is easy to do even when you're wearing it. And then away you go, see right through the bottom where you're walking, and then you've got arm movement on the side. So there it is. That's great. Quick and easy. If you want to come simple on system. into, yeah, simple system, but uh, it's great if you come in and we can help you uh, choose the right pack and also fit the pack to you, get it nice and perfectly adjusted to you. So, yeah. And we do. We keep the full range of arm packs here in store. So you know, pop down. You know, we're in Sydenham. Uh, just Google further faster, and uh, you'll find us dead easy. Open every day. Right. Everybody have a cracking weekend, and hopefully people get out there doing some stuff. Cheers, see you Cheers. next week.